it's time to talk about tissues. So we're going to cover the four main types of tissues, an overview of each type. So are you ready? Let's get started. Okay, so here are the objectives. Pause and peruse if you wish. First, let's review body organization. That was in the last unit. Okay, cell, basic unit of life. Secretes and regulates the extracellular matrix in addition to performing its cell function. Tissues, groups of cells, right, that function together. There are four main types of tissues, which we're gonna talk about, epithelial, connective, muscular, and nervous. The major functions of each type listed there, but we're gonna cover this again when we go over the tissue types. Organs, organs, groups of tissues that again function together. So for example, um, the brain, the heart, the lungs, the liver, the stomach. So the stomach is going to have epithelial tissue and connective tissue and muscular tissue and nervous tissue. And together they work together in the organ, the stomach, to function. And then we have an organ system. So a group of organs that function together. So like the nervous system, digestive, cardiovascular, muscular, skeletal, okay? And then you have an organism, an individual living thing made up of those organ systems. And in anatomy and physiology, we're gonna talk about human beings exclusively. But in other biology classes, you could talk about other living things, other plants, animals, mushrooms, whatever. An organism, a single individual living thing. So some fun facts about cells, basic unit of life, right? The human body has over 30 trillion cells. If you Google it, you're gonna have a whole bunch of numbers, but basically this brings true for all of them, over 30 trillion cells. But there are only about 200 different types of cells in a human body. About a million cells die every second, which is why replacement is so important. The longest cells in our body are neurons. They can be up to 4.5 feet long. They're gonna go from um, the base of your spinal cord to the tip of your toe. That's where your longest cell would be. The largest cell is the fertilized egg, a zygote, after it's been fertilized uh, by a sperm. Now we'll focus only on the tissue level. So there was some fun cell facts. Now we're gonna move on to tissues and we're only gonna focus there. So histology is the study of tissues. A tissue is a group of cells that work together to perform a specific function. There are four main groups of tissue, epithelial, connective, muscular, and neural. And those four groups of tissues work together to form different organs with different functions. Now, a quick overview of each tissue type. So again, four main tissue types. We're gonna cover each one and go through it. Okay, first up we have epithelial tissue. Epithelial tissue includes the epithelia, the layers of cells that cover internal and external surfaces. So our skin, but also the lining around organs, the lining of our body cavities, all that kind of stuff. Plus epithelial tissue includes glands or secreting cells. Some important characteristics of epithelial tissue. So it has a free apical surface exposed to the internal or external environment. So there's a, the top layer of cells, if there's more than one layer, is exposed to either the internal or the external environment. It's attached to a basement membrane made of connective tissue, and that's the bottom layer. So not all the layers, okay? But if there's multiple layers, the bottom layer, the most deep layer, would be um, attached to the basement membrane. It is avascular, so there's an absence of blood uh, vessels. So that's the importance of having the connective tissue close by, because that's going to contain the blood vessels. So the, that is going to be used to nourish the epithelial tissue. There is continual replacement of epithelial tissue. So we have regeneration of cells that are damaged or lost, especially at the apical surface. So if you uh, scrape yourself, cut yourself, um, there's an injury internally or externally, those uh, cells are gonna need to be replaced. 
and they're named according to the shape of the cells and the number of layers. Okay, and we will cover this in greater detail when we do epithelial tissue exclusively. What else? The functions of epithelial tissue. Provides physical protection, whether it's internal or external. It controls permeability, absorption. So what's gonna get in and out? It provides sensation, so nerve endings. It produces specialized secretions, so exocrine and endocrine. Endocrine being released inside the body, exocrine um, being secreted. Let's move on to connective tissue. So connective tissue includes three main categories, connective tissue proper, fluid connective tissue, and supporting connective tissue. And you could see um, a chart here which lists uh, those, but again, we will cover this in greater detail when we do connective tissue exclusively. Okay, some important characteristics of connective tissue. First, it's the most diverse tissue in the body also the most widespread. It contains specialized cells, so depending what type of connective tissue it is. For example, chondrocytes um, produce cartilage, so that's going to be present in cartilage. And we have um, osteocytes and osteoclasts and osteoblast specialized cells in bone. Okay, So whatever type of tissue it is, it's going to have specialized cells. But something that is unique, there is a mix of protein fibers and ground substance that compose the matrix. And that's most of the connective tissue volume is going to be this matrix, not the cells, the matrix. Okay. And different connective tissues are going to have different amounts of protein fibers, different amounts of ground substance, different amounts of matrix, different types of protein fibers. But regardless, having a matrix with protein fibers and ground substance is a characteristic of all connective tissue. Okay, what else? The functions of connective tissue. Well, support and protection, transportation of materials, well, blood is one of the connective tissues, storage of energy reserves, fat is a connective tissue, defense of the body. Okay, let's move on to muscle tissue. Muscle tissue includes three main types of muscles, skeletal, smooth, and cardiac. Again, we go into this in greater detail when we focus on um, muscle tissue. Skeletal is the only voluntary muscle. Smooth and cardiac are both involuntary. Cardiac found only in the heart. Smooth found lining most internal organs. And skeletal is what attaches to your bones. All right, so important characteristics of muscle tissue. They have a lot of filaments that are specialized for contraction. So we have actin and myosin. And you can see from this GIF that actin and myosin work together to pull and help a muscle contract. All right, so muscle tissue. Its main function is for contraction. Okay, whether it's skeletal, cardiac, or smooth, regardless, the main function for muscle tissue is contraction. Okay, the last type of tissue is neural tissue, nervous tissue. So it includes neurons. Uh, those are the cells, the functional unit of neural tissue, and then neuroglia or glial cells and they are supporting cells. They support the neurons in a number of ways, and we'll talk about that more specifically when we do nervous tissue. All right, so important characteristics of neural tissue. First, our unconscious and conscious thoughts reflect neuron communication. So anything that's happening in our body indicates that neurons are communicating. The longest cells in our body, remember, are neurons, and most neurons cannot divide and have limited ability to repair which means if nerves are damaged, uh, that damage can be permanent, which is why spinal cord damage can result in paralysis. The neurons simply can't just repair themselves. It's not that easy. All right, the functions of neural tissue. So neurons conduct electrical impulses, fast communication system of the body. Whereas the neuroglia or the glial cells, they provide support, protection, they produce myelin, they do a whole bunch of other things to support the neurons so they can do their job. So it's like 
the fan club for neurons. So neurons just had to go on stage and do their thing and then they have all of these other cells supporting them so they're able to do what they need to do. Let's go over some questions. What type of tissue is the most abundant and diverse? Thank you. Yeah, connective. What type of tissue lines body surfaces? Internal and external. Think. Yeah, epithelial. What type of tissue helps the body move? Yep, muscle tissue. What type of tissue is used for communication and control? Think. Yep, neural tissue. Blood is this type of tissue. Do you remember I mentioned it? It was also on one of the slides. Yep, connective tissue. All right, in class, we'll be doing a blue kit. You would be so smart too. All right, there's an introduction to tissues, an overview of the four main types of tissues, epithelial, connective, muscle, nervous, okay? So hopefully today you learned something new.